Alright, so these, how much are these? 375. Oh, that's not. Yeah. That, those are, I've never seen more expensive sunglasses. What are they, prescription? No. <laughs> They're Christian Dior. I didn't buy them. Christian. My friend had a stolen Christian. credit card. We all went to the mall and bought something like totally frivolous that we could never buy, you know what I mean? Like my other friend got another pair. Why? 
I just burned it. Oh, really? From, from, uh, from a cassette tape. So what is this? Like, like an um, CD and record? Yeah, she's mixing a CD I just made from a tape. I made a CD from a tape. And uh, then I put the CD in the CD bag. Player. What, did, what did you do wrong? Oh, no, it's because you were brought up in a Christian family, my friend. Yeah, but Christian, he's a victim of Christianity. I must get out of here. Andy, can you make me a, can make me a copy of Ken Travers' collection? This? Yeah, 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 I can do it today. Do it today. Um, yeah, I'm crawling out ah, the window. Why are you in the way? I'm trying to smoke out the window. Right, I'm crawling out the window. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was trying to rob us. Yeah, that was right. the best he could do. <laughs> you know, I mean, the, the definition do. of a loser is a, is a person who fails a crime. <laughs> you know? He was like, hey, hey, uh, give me that. Give me that camera. Hey, give me that camera. Hey, wait, where you going? <laughs> oh, you're going? To, you post oh. no, you supposed to be scared of me. You supposed to be scared of me. I'm black. Here's my camera, Mr. Black Man. Surely you mean me some harm. What's that? Surely you mean me some harm, Mr. Black Man. I will give you my camera and then maybe I will at least still keep my life. Yes, precisely. Come on, come with, come with the movie. Very interesting corner in Boston, I think. Do you have a light, Andy? No. This is the corner at where we're at. Kung Fu Kitty Live House. Go outside. Now she wants to fight for life. No, fight for life. Kung Fu Kitty fight for life. So <laughs> he's king in the eighties. Okay, so you can see in his eyes. And okay, here's Jenny. How many times a day do you do this, Jenny? Hmm? How many times do you sh shoot up with the cigarette, the cancer stick? Depends on the day in my mood. So it's kind of a <laughs> woman thing. <laughs> I get it. What's happening with the World Trade Center um, project? What? Have you heard about this, Billy? No. Um, the guy who won the contract is the architectural firm is Daniel Liebeskind. He's a German. Yeah. And he's one of the most famous architects in the world of like. Um, large-scale commercial structures like banks and office buildings. So, and airports, things like that. So, anyway, they, in this big competition with other big, big architectural firms like Norm Foster, uh, the great architect of Britain who designed the Chinese, uh, the China bank building in Hong Kong. They, they have this huge competition and Leviskin wins the competition. His firm wins the competition. Which is kind of like, I don't know, winning the Academy of War. I mean, you're going to go down in history as the, the firm that rebuilt the World Trade Center. And what happens is that the guy who actually owns the ground that the World Trade Center was on gets his own architect and, and makes those people, them consultants. Consultants? For the project. And it just made, it just, I was like shocked. And the, the uh, landlord's architect is no, you know, no, nobody special. And that's going to be the main man in the project. And um, Leviskin can only make suggestions, which is not the way those kinds of firms work. They work by suggestion. They work by uh, basically demanding and determining what's going to happen. And Yeah. And, and uh, it just made me realize no matter how big you are, no matter how powerful, how important, there's always somebody who can trump you and is, is going to do an evil deed. And so, really, um, 
There's no such thing as security. There really isn't. You just have to learn to be happy in limbo.